Hi everyone, I'm Red Herring and this is a personal review of the cup that's listed in the title. Before I get started, please note my measurements and my needs in a menstrual cup. This bit of information will help you narrow down what you need in your first menstrual cup or if you're just looking for your next menstrual cup. If your measurements and needs closely resemble mine, then your experience with this menstrual cup might be similar to the experience I had with this menstrual cup. Remember that we're all made differently and what might work for me might not work for you and vice versa. Check out my channel if you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, and personal reviews. Please give my video a thumbs up if it was helpful and please don't forget to subscribe. So I did get to use the Amy Cup Crystal a few days uh, during my period and um, as I said in my unboxing I was a little bit worried that this cup would give me cramps because it's so firm and it's a bell shaped uh, cup. I did have some problems with the Lena cup being firm and bell shaped. It gave me quite a bit of cramps for a few, uh, for a few days and even uh, a few days after I removed the cup. So I was kind of worried about this. I was also worried um, about the stem since in my unboxing video I did also mention that it just snapped off when I was pulling on it and I wasn't even pulling on it very hard. So um, I did insert this cup at night after I took a shower and I was going to use it uh, while I was sleeping. Um, and I did have some problem inserting it. Uh, I used my punch down fold at first, but because the bottom of this cup is is a, a wide bowl, um, it kind of stayed uh Fluff, fluffed out for lack of better words um, and when I was pinching it it just didn't go anywhere and so I did just go to an easy fold which was a C fold and I inserted it and that worked a lot better um, but because it's so firm it just didn't want to really open. I did have to press it up against um, my pubic bone and then or my vaginal wall up by my pubic bone and then release it and then it opened just like so. Uh, as soon as it, was, as it was open my body kind of sucked it in so it moved up high and I felt around uh, the rim was open, my cervix was uh, correctly positioned and I could hardly reach this cup. It was really high. It went right up against my cervix and it, you know, stayed there. So when I inserted my finger to check my rim and cervix, uh, I did have to bear down quite a bit to feel that area. Um, I wiped around the uh, bottom of the cup, but I could feel that it was high. Uh, I stood up and it was fine. I was worried about cramping. Uh, I stayed up. I showered probably around 12 o'clock that night. Um, I stayed up till about 4 that night uh, or morning, and I didn't feel any cramping. In the morning, I got up and I went to go empty my cup for the first time, and I kept having to bear down because I couldn't reach the cup. I bared down and I could just reach the um, little ball that was left on the the stem there and I would pull it down but it was still not enough and I could feel my cervix kind of pulling down and you know, that's uncomfortable sometimes painful so you probably don't want to pull too hard um, so I tried to pull this down and these grip rings just did not grip for me um, you can see now that my fingers are kind of just sliding off of that and then when it's lubricated with my own moisture it was even more slippery so I actually had to grab onto it use my nail to pinch it like that so that my fingernails would lock behind uh, those those grip rings uh, for somebody that is sensitive to all those little bumps and and whatnot these grip rings would probably be very nice for them just because they're they're wider and it um, is rounded so you don't really feel them so after I actually 
got my fingernails to grip onto that, I still had to pull it down just a bit so that I could break that um, seal that it created and then brought it out. I didn't hit my urethra or anything. After that point of actually getting a hold of it, um, it was it was fine to remove. Um, so I do have a medium high cervix like my information stated. Uh, and so I think this cup would probably be more easy to reach for somebody that has a medium to low cervix um, because it is a, a, a short, fairly short cup and all. I did do some pictures um, in the unboxing but I will also leave them here so that you don't have to go look at the unboxing if you don't want to. But it is a fairly short cup. Um, it's It's got a nice bowl to it. Um, that it is a high capacity and your medium to low cervix can sit right in there and not take up all the capacity. Um, also, the suction release holes are at the top of the ring. And there's one there, or top of the rim. So you do get the full capacity of this cup when you're using it. Um, so I used it again and inserting was a little easier this time because I knew better that I, you know, I started off with just the C-fold and, and inserting it. But it's so firm that I thought that it was going to be spring-loaded, like my friend Jennifer said, but it really didn't act that way when it was inserted. Um, I did have to kind of coax it because it it's so firm that it just kind of stayed, it wanted to stay how it was um, smashed. So you can see how slowly, and I'm not holding it very tightly. So uh, if you're worried about that, just use your finger to slow down that process of it opening. You can put a finger there and just kind of let it open against your finger so it doesn't pop and hurt you. Um, I used this small cup for one day. Uh, I was a little bit worried because the large cup was, all, or the medium size, they only have a small and a medium. Um, the, the medium cup already rode high on me um, during the, the night and then the day that I really had to bear down. It took a while for me to get a hold of of the cup to remove it and I was scared that this one would get so high that I wasn't going to be able to remove it and I was scared that this stem was just going to bust off inside of me so um, I used it that one day had a hard time getting it out and so I didn't use it again um, I went back to the medium size and um, I didn't fill this cup I was out all day for Sunday and Monday and um, Actually, yesterday, to, um, Tuesday, I was out all day, too. So I used it for, for three days for a full day, and I didn't leak. And it was comfortable. I didn't cramp. Um, so that was an awesome thing. I think my only problems it are um, with this cup is removing it. So just because I have a hard time removing it, uh, it wouldn't be my... Uh, personal favorite of a cup. It's so pretty though. Um, I I think the um, firmness of the cup itself makes it feel more plasticky to me. Um, you can hear it. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and... So... It, for the price that I had to pay to get these cups to me, um, honestly, I would probably pass it up. Um, and that's my personal opinion. Uh, I, I'm sorry to the Amy Cup, no offense, but uh, just because it costs so much to get here and the trouble that I had to get them, um, I would find something else that was comparable. Uh, that's all I have to say about the Amy Cup crystals. Uh, again, I haven't tried the Amy Cup original, and I don't know if I'm going to because I'm scared of it. Um, maybe just one time I'll try it for you guys, but I'll do a quick, just a, 
Here's the applicator and the cup, and it does come with its own lube. But if you're interested in a little bit more information of that one, I have it in my unboxing. I'm not going to talk about it in this one, and I don't have a review about it yet. So that's all I have to say about the crystal right now. Um, until I see you next time, take care. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.